Hello everyone, welcome to my channel uh, ASP.NET Warframe. Today I am going to show you how to uh, design ASP.NET uh, web form shopping cart projects. So uh, first of all, uh, search in Visual Studio 2019 ASP.NET and select ASP.NET web form uh, .NET framework and C Sharp as a language. Uh, the project name is shopping cart, uh, shopping cart. Okay, and now just create it and oops getting an uh, warning message that is already exist so just click no with the plus just create a new name that is the web form shopping cart web form is the project name now uh, also select a uh, web form in a create a new sp.net web application template so the basic thing behind the shopping cart is uh, there is the two party uh, between the uh, in the shopping cart there is the vendor and uh, the one the buyer and the one is the seller okay so the seller is related to the shopping cart websites okay so there is no multiple sellers in the website only one seller uh, I have to design so first of all create a new web page in a shopping cart web form project that is web form with the master page because I have already a master page that is uh, site.master in a uh, web form template. So just add or you can say this uh, uh, name mm, is home. Okay, there is a first page for your shopping cart. There is now set as a start page. Now click on the triangle uh, green button to run your application as your home page is a start page okay so there is because your uh, home page does not have any content uh, in a master page you have a content that is asp.net names application names and about us and contact us now add a new database in your application inside your app data folder that is the name of the database is shopping cart db uh, i mean to say that shopping cart database just uh, double click on the shopping cart uh, db dot md file here we have a mdf is uh, the name is master database file and ldf is referred to the last database file so uh, just uh, right click on the table that is add a new table and uh, give the name to the table that is wait for some times okay so sign up there is the table name and uh, in which you can add some column name like name the data type of the name is nvercare50 email Also, the data type select is nvercare 50 and the uh, fourth one is address nvercare 50. Here you can see that ID property is a primary key also and have a identity property. Okay, so just name and address field and the password field is nvercare max and nvercare max okay now the another field is role where admin and uh, user and uh, the last one is phone number that is the mandatory field and that current time okay so these are the fields in sign up table now update your database
now your the first table uh, was created in uh, server explorer now again open solution explorer here you can add a new web page just in the left panel select web and uh, web with the master page the page name is sign up and uh, first of all that page I have to design it with the with the help of table that is the HTML table just uh, the last tab in the toolbox that is the HTML now select table from the HTML tab and here you can see the code there is the three rows in the table the default so here we have five column name I want to display here uh, in the uh, in the table so just add two more rows so just copy that rows and paste two times more okay in the first uh, TD that is the name field and the second field related to the email the third field is related to the password fourth is related to the address and the phone number first one is a phone number and the last is related to the address okay so after that create columns add a text box fields in us from the standard tab just add a text box here the ID property of the text box is default text box one I will change letter so just drag and drop here email password phone number address and the okay one by one similarly you can add it and the last for the address after that I will uh, add some validations here so just replace the ID property of the text box is with your uh, key property that is name is the name a text box is name text email is related to the email text and the password is related to the password text and the phone number is related to the phone text okay and the last one is address so address dot address text is the final name of the text box and also add a rows is five to make that uh, text box as a multi line or you have a, another options to add a text box as a multi line that is the text mode so first of all run your application with your sign up page how's that your page look like you will see actually I'm not a designer actually uh, I'm a developer I'm not uh, a designer so just add a text mode property in the address text box text mode is multi-line so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to shopping cart projects in the web form
Thank you very much for watching this video.